um, I just drained the cooked potatoes and I meant to say I always leave the skins on. I usually go for the red. That was about one and a half tablespoons of butter in that entire uh, pot of tomato uh, potatoes, which was three medium sized red skin chopped up in small pieces so they would cook quickly. And this is why I say I cook everything fresh. Um, you don't have to go without butter, you don't have to go without salt. It's just if you cook it yourself, you can control it. So that was about a tablespoon and a half of real butter in that whole thing. And okay, I'm gonna guess that that's about, um, I'm gonna say uh, three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, bear with me one sec, Brianna. Okay, I don't measure the milk. This is 2%. It's uh, GMO-free milk. No bovine growth hormones. You don't want those because they're neurotoxin neurotoxins to humans. And it's now being found in mother's breast milk. So, what I do real quick, and really from here on out, it depends on how thick you want your potatoes. I don't really care. Uh, Brianna, that's about right for me. Give me one sec. Okay, that's enough salt for me. I'm going to put in, that's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon more. Okay. I tend to under salt compared to some people, so I'm going to say that was roughly, for sure, one whole teaspoon of salt. But that's three medium potatoes, and not much butter either, and 2% milk. Voila, boom, homemade mashed potatoes that are not unhealthy as can be. Thank you for recording, honey. Bye-bye.